what's up everybody it's the white boy from the yard and i'm back at it again with another video actually it's a uh, quite a small topic for today um i was getting a lot of questions about whether it's possible for you to um, build muscle while in a calorie deficit or if it's even possible to get bigger and leaner at the same time well let me tell you something guys yes it's possible i mean how many people on this planet aren't using any form of diet or whatever and they still look ripped or they're still getting muscles they're still getting bigger so that's actually enough proof um to tell you guys that it is possible to build muscle while in a calorie deficit or without dieting at all so you don't actually have to focus on bulking or cutting as much as everybody thinks well let me tell you this tip actually guys um just make sure you're eating three most important meals which is breakfast obviously um the pre-workout meal and then we have the post-workout meal so why are these three meals important um well it's because you know these workouts i mean these meals fuel your workout so obviously everybody needs breakfast because you wake up in the morning you're empty you're you're your body needs fuel so that's obviously why you're eating a breakfast now what would be the perfect um, bodybuilding breakfast you could go to my youtube channel and um, click on a video which is the perfect bodybuilding breakfast uh, it's just oats uh, eggs these types of foods i just put them in a blender it's just way more convenient for me um, yeah then about the pre-workout meal pre-workout meal should always be a meal high enough in carbs and high enough in protein and a little bit lower on fats why because fats slow down the digestion of the proteins and the carbs so you don't want your stomach uh, being busy with uh, digesting food instead of hitting the gym and focus on building muscle because these things are just two different types of parts okay processing food and building muscle now you just want to keep in mind that the pre-workout meal should be as clean as possible. Um, this way you're also looking leaner in the gym and better. So this is this is way better in my opinion. But um, the pre-workout meal should best be um, something lean like rice and chicken and a little bit of veggies. Not too much um, because you, you want the food to digest real fast. Um, then about post-workout meal. A post-workout meal is something... Uh, you consume because your body is depleted after working out so that's why you want to fuel it that's why you want to refill every piece of glycogen which is in the muscle now you could take a shake you know a, a maltodextrin shake quick carbs um, and then after that eat a meal but I always prefer just eating the meal um, without using any form of shakes if you have time go at go to home make yourself a breakfast i mean make yourself a meal and just just do whatever you got to do um but if you're like running out of time sure it's convenient to grab a protein shake or a maltodextrin carb loader um but the real post-workout meal in my in my opinion would best be if the carb source is like pasta something slower digestive digestible um or something like sweet potatoes and sure you could you still could eat rice but rice is a little quicker on the digestive scale so that's the reason why you want something like potatoes you know and then you could eat a little bit of sauce with the post-workout meal i mean sugars are just carbs as well so make sure you're not using any form of fatty sauce such as mayonnaise or whatever but then just go for a ketchup which is should be low in fructose corn syrup um or you grab barbecue sauce or something because it's still sugar it's still just carbs and i'd rather put a, a little bit more carbs in my meal than a lot of more fat because that that's what happens with fatty sauces so yeah you can build muscle even while in a calorie deficit um every day if you're just taking care of these three tiny meals or big meals whatever but um if you take care of these three meals guys let me tell you something you will build muscle no matter what and then then we're talking about eating three meals a day and that's probably what the average human being on this planet does like 
three meals maximum. I mean, most of the peoples out there ain't even bodybuilders, so if you think about eating seven to eight meals a day, you think we would be crazy. So three meals, that should be enough uh, to fuel the workout, not for the rest of the day. And of course, sure, there are more theories behind it on how to get bigger, faster, and whatever, but sure, you can build muscle while in a calorie deficit uh, or without dieting at all, just fueling your workout with three important meals, like I said, and then you will build muscle, guys. So don't let no naysayer tell you something that you can't build muscle while uh, in a calorie deficit or you have to bulk up to gain muscle and weight. That's nonsense. You have to bulk up. Some people think bulking up should be um, 500 calorie surplus. Sure, it works, but let me tell you something. From my own experience, if you you get around 500 calories surplus, maybe even 600, then you will get fat. Well, and if bodybuilders doesn't want anything, it's just getting fat. At least I don't want to. So that's one of the reasons I just take care of my most three important meals of the day. And when I'm bulking, it's just a 300 calorie surplus. So yeah, that was it for today's topic. Actually, I got a lot of questions uh, recently about this topic because it still seems to be a little bit hard to understand for people that are not bodybuilders or that are not in the fitness industry or how to build muscle, how to lose fat, all these tiny questions. Um, so yeah, that's where I pop in and that's uh, that's where I tell you tell you guys how it is and no no internet bullshit. So. Don't spend time searching out on the internet for garbage you probably won't even find or what, what, what won't even work for you guys. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Thanks all a lot for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe. Go out to my uh, Facebook, my Instagram, drop a follow. I will be responding on my followers there much, much more. Go out to Anabolic TV by Enhanced Athlete. Subscribe there as well. I got a playlist on Spotify. If you guys like hardcore bodybuilding, trap, rap, hip hop, whatever, just make sure to follow that as well. I got Pinterest, I got all these social media platforms. Just search White Boy From The Yard on Google and you will find me anywhere, guys. So yeah, guys, I'm still giving, giving away three online coaching programs. Um, I will be announcing the winners at 250 subscribers. So that is like 37 subscribers left. So if you don't know how to get started, when to get started, what diets to use, what workouts to use, uh, or you simply don't have the motivation subscribe to my youtube channel um, and when i reach 250 subscribers i will announce the three winners for one four week program one eight week program and one full 12 week online coaching program guys so like i said thanks a lot for watching again don't forget to subscribe it's the white boy from the yard